Well there, as you can see my video arcade is coming along. I have uh, the glass plate in place. That was a little bit tough to make. I've also made a special bezel for it, which fits a special monitor that I have, which is spe with a special swivel stand. They can be raised and pressed out and in in all kinds of directions, so that's actually pretty cool. That makes it possible to use this in a very creative way for this um, arcade machine. As you can see, there's a PC uh, down there, and it's of course going to be hidden behind a door, so it looks exactly like an arcade machine with absolutely no sign of it being a PC anywhere. That is if I can find my uh, X arcade cables. If not, I have to solder everything manually and possibly make a new keyboard driver for it. So I really hope I can find the cables for this one so I can get connected to the PC PS2 port. Because yes, this one is connected to the PS2 port because it's fairly old. I found this one on a flea market for like $5 or something like that. So um, that's why I plan to make this arcade machine kind of big so I have to go really really far away in order to so you can see fully appreciate the enormous size of this thing because it's truly huge it's freaking ginormous it's very comfortable to sit in front and play video games because it's really really big I plan to have speakers up there and maybe a little light I'm not really sure but everything is formed and shaped accordingly so probably gonna paint then probably gonna print 3d print something for that but everything has nicely beveled corners and so it doesn't hurt the floor or anything like that so it should be uh, should be a nice arcade machine don't ask me how much this beast weighs because it weighs a lot yep that's it for now